it's nice to know that the U.S. has a presence in a foreign country that wants us there, where they respect us and, and we're really doing something good. I signed up for the Guard at the age of 24. It was in 2005. I signed my first six-year contract. I got out of high school, I worked at and eventually ran a KFC. And, and uh, I, two years there, I was like, well, this isn't going anywhere. So at 25, which is kind of late, I signed up for the Massachusetts Army National Guard. I went down to the office and I said, hey, I want to sign up. I want you to pay for my schooling. Uh, what can I do? So I said, well, if I'm going to do something that's not going to give me any civilian qualifications, I just want to blow things up. Um, I was there for less than a year when we got the call that we were going to Kosovo. And I have the same reaction everybody else does. What the heck is Kosovo? Well, it's not Iraq, it's not Iran, it's, it's, it's not Afghanistan, it's Kosovo. Um, for those of us that were around in the late 90s, we might recall that Kosovo um, was in a conflict where Salavo Milosevic, and I'm going to butcher that name, uh, had decided that he was going to start committing genocide on Albanians. So, so it was a Serbian-Albanian thing. Uh, then we went to Fort Lewis, Washington, where we learned about corrections, and then to Hohensfeld, Germany, where we further honed our skills in corrections before actually moving into um, Kosovo and taking up residence at uh, wonderful Camp Bonsteel. Um, a lot of what we do in country, um, well, it's military police. Making your presence known, that's the first step in policing, is, is just having your presence there. So it, it calms people down, it reinforces people that everything is okay. When we treated people medically, after I got my EMT, I volunteer for what we call MedCAPS. Some of the things you see, uh, as an American, it really humbles you. Because being here and the debates about health care and uh, how it costs too much, it's, it's amazing. It amazed me just the thought of here we have the ability to go to the hospital that we gave gloves away to a little girl in this no-name town of uh, 60 people on top of a mountain and um, it had come back down to my chain of command that I never should have done that, that's military property and um, beyond that, that that little girl could have possibly got beat up and the gloves got taken away or her father took them and sold them. So I got on and I, I wrote the first note that said uh, something to the effect of, I'm here, I'm comfortable, but the, the local nationals that live here are really in need of gloves. And I don't know where all these gloves came from, but it was two weeks later, every day the post would come in, they'd be like, Barini, you got another box, Barini, you got another box. <laughs> and these gloves just started pouring in and I don't recall the name and I wish I, I wish I recalled the name but there was one person that sent me like three cases of knit gloves I mean boxes like this and we threw them in the back of our Humvee and from then on whenever we went out we gave everybody gloves on New Year's Eve uh, 2007 this is in 2007 um, there was a lot of gunfire celebratory fire they call it but I don't care who you are if you're in uniform and you're just in a country that you don't know well and people start shooting AKs in the air um, you still get a bit nervous uh, we had been in country for I'd say two weeks when we got a riot, riot control call and they said there is an amassing group of people at the front gate and this is the front gate of our base so everybody's scrambling around we're putting on all our riot gear uh, we had helmets face shields, the big uh, clear police riot shields, batons, uh, tear gas, everybody's arming up. And 
we ran down there and mobilized as fast as we could. And as we were coming up over the hill, and it was a big base, we were coming up over the hill towards the gate, all we can see is a sea of red and white. We're like, what is going on down there? As we pulled up and got closer, we realized that all the red and white were American flags. All the local nationals had showed up at our base to thank us for being in their country on uh, a major uh, American holiday. And they were there uh, with their mayor to present a, a plaque, a thank you plaque, to our general for, um, for being away from their family and being in Kosovo helping. Let me say again I, that I will. I know that I had a different experience from those that went into combat. Um, I, I didn't have to fire my weapon, I didn't get fired at. There's really no place that I would rather be at in any error. This is the right time, the right place, and I, I really do have a very good 